In this lecture, we're going to talk about how to select the right type of process capability analysis. As you perform the process capability analysis, you might realize that there are different scenarios where the data is skewed, it's normal, it's non-normal and so on. And in such scenarios, we need a decision tree which can help us in taking the right decisions regarding the selection of process capability analysis. And that's what we're going to see today. Here is a tree. On the first side, it might look a little complex, but I'll help you decode this and understand it better. So let's start with the top of the tree. It says uh, the data type could be either continuous or it could be attribute. 